Afternoon folks, Sunday tip time, have I got to focus on that? Yeah, okay so we've all seen these um, these budget Harris look-alike copy bipods, about 20 quid, it's not bad, but I've, I've seen guns fall over on them, um, they're, they're not that great a design mainly due to the fact that they have a rocking system and a swivel and, and tilt system but you, you, you can't tighten them up and we just can't tighten them up so I'm going to show you how to tighten them up dead quick uh, DIY tools I'd say bordering on but easily available I'm going to need an M4 countersunk stainless bolt and we're going to be M4 by 12 is fine 15 will probably still do the job the pence on eBay 2.5 mil Allen driver 3 mil Allen driver M4 top and older 3.5 mil drill now I'm going 3.5 mil because it makes it easier to tap it and an HSS countersink but machine mark Amazon etc so what you're gonna do after you fix the vice is you're going to get this nut and you're going to take it off and inside there there's a spring now I'm going to get that spring and I'm going to throw it in away underneath that you've got a concave washer that sits on a convex one and allows all that ridiculous movement so we're going to now we're going to take the 3 mil Allen driver and I'm going to fix the vise I'm going to plop it in the vise and then put the camera back on fucking motorbikes Right, so yeah, these things are tight. Um, if I remember rightly, they're not Loctite tight, but they're tight. So, the beauty of this type of Allen. Okay, which I got from uh, Best Fittings. You can just help it along. Now put in a spanner on it or a wrench. You need you need good quality heads on these. Because crappy tools will ruin your work pace. So these two, there's your camera gun. Do do do. I need to get daft. Okay, uh, let's speed it up a bit. These two are going to come out. Nothing is going to happen. You're not going to lose out. Once you've took those two out, you'll see it separates. You need to retain this nut that goes through the middle. Now I'm going to take that bit and at this point Remember that it goes on that way or you're going to wreck it. Okay, so that bit's back in. I'm now going to get the main nut. If you want, you can put a bit of Loctite on that. I would advise it 
permanent lock sight but you need to make sure that it's parallel with the actual bipod legs so it's perfectly straight because it's a point of no return what we're about to do and plant that back in the vise Okay, moves you back in. I'm hoping that's focused. So now I've got the unit in the vise, and from the top, I'm going to work upside down here. I'm going to drill 15 mil. Yep. I'm going to drill 15 mil ish. Doesn't have to be exact. And I'm going to drill 15 mil in. What you can do is you can get some tape and you can measure 15 mil down your drill bit and you can put your tape where you want to stop. So on my scratch line, I started off nice and slow and I want, I want to be in the middle of that section. I should really be using a centre drill. I can't be arsed. Am I on camera here? Yeah, I am. Right, okay. This is why you need this back nut tight and you need at this point to make sure that your bipod is, is perfectly mounted parallel that this, this part's on straight start drilling bit of WD-40 if you need it because it helps you know it you'll feel yourself go through your first part now I've had to cheat a bit here because uh, my SD card ran out, so you missed a bit. And I'm going to explain what you've missed. I've drilled the first hole, 3.5 mil drill bit, and I've gone through this section, and I've gone into the main section behind it. Because your studs M4, you need this first section to not have any thread in it so it's going to be just slightly over four mil so if you can't get access to 4.1 mil drill bit drill it for just wiggle your drill around but don't go into the back section you'll feel yourself when you've gone through this if you want to be anal you can, at this point you can if you haven't locked out it take that back off and just drill this at four mil so this this is why now this hole looks a bit bigger so the idea is I can come in now with my M4 tap and because you've drilled 3.5 which is slightly over what you need that'll be nice and easy to get a grab on that and get the tapping process done a bit of WD-40 again will help but just try not to grab any swarf on your way back out because with Ali you can, it's such a fine thread you can damage it so that's now tapped ideal world you know a compressor just give it a whaff of there I'm going to get the counter sink bit now again if you want to be anal, I need to stop using that word. Uh, you're, going, you're going to aim uh, for the point on the counter sink. Let me get in camera. That's uh, 7.8 mil. So you, you, you want to be going in until you've hit an 8 mil diameter. Guessing game, it's up to you. doesn't matter whether you're at this track because you're not going to damage it and you can't see it once it's on the gun so the diameter of the top of the countersink I want this stud uh, bolt just to fit in so it doesn't interfere 
with the match the mating of this bipod to whatever rail you're using. So your M4 should come with a 2.5mm socket cap. Lock tight, permanent, no problem. Why not then? Give it a nice tighten up. We're going to get focused on that now. That thing will never move. Never. That's it. Even if you take that front nut off, it's now a perfectly good bipod. Um, Alright, you've, you've, you've had to buy the tools, but it's not 100 quid, is it? So it's, uh, to me, good bipod for 20 quid. Filming and talking about it, yeah, I don't know, 10 minute, um, 15 minute, but it's a, it's a five minute job and it, it really does make these bipod units absolutely solid and like I say in the past I have seen guns actually fall over but that is now it's going nowhere okay you've lost your ability to tilt uh, but the unit it, it the caveat of the machining that into it meant you couldn't lock it up so I hope you find that handy um, and you know you can confidently jump on eBay or Amazon and buy them now and uh, upgrade them so that they're completely rigid. Barbecue Sam. Bye.